2016, the German government adopted the Climate Action Plan 2050. The goal of the Climate Action Plan is for Germany to become almost greenhouse gas neutral by 2050. This means that almost no CO2 and other climate damaging greenhouse gases are to be emitted anymore. In the five areas of action, energy, buildings, transport, industry and business, and agriculture, milestones were established. One key milestone is the year 2030. By then, only about half as many greenhouse gases are to be emitted as in the year 1990. But what does this mean in concrete terms? What could the year 2030 look like? And what developments are there already for more climate protection? Let's look at a few examples. This is Nina. She's already purchasing green electricity. This means that the electricity she uses is sourced from renewable energy. In other words, mostly from the wind and the sun. The Özgür family is working on preparing their home for the future. They are planning to insulate the building and switch the energy supply. They sought advice on the steps to take. Through this, they know exactly which measures to implement when, to match their wallet. For these steps, the family can use funds from, for example, the KFW, the Reconstruction Credit Institute. And now, their monthly energy costs are sinking as well. This is Hannes. Hannes finds it important to be mobile in the most climate-friendly manner as possible. He also wants less noise and cleaner air in the city. What is Hannes doing about this? He goes by bike, by bus or by train as often as possible. If he needs a car, he uses car sharing. In this case, he particularly prefers an electric vehicle, so that his ride can be completely emissions-free. The German government promotes climate-friendly mobility. It's creating better conditions for cycling, promotes the expansion of bus and train traffic, and is promoting new technologies to be developed and integrated, such as electromobility. This is Rita. Rita owns a medium-sized business and is working on designing electrical appliances to last longer. What does this have to do with climate protection? In producing and using products, energy and resources are used, which then contributes to climate change. That's why it's good for the climate when we use products longer and more efficiently and ask ourselves if we really need certain things. Maybe by 2030, we will increasingly use platforms to share objects? And in agriculture? Let's visit Fritz. Fritz is a farmer. To make sure his plants grow better, Fritz uses fertilizer, more specifically manure. However, fertilizing releases a lot of greenhouse gases. Up to 50% of emissions from using manure can be avoided by targeting the manure closer to the plant. That's why the German government is supporting research and development for more climate-friendly fertilizing techniques and at the same time is setting stricter requirements for fertilizer use. These were just a few examples from the five areas of action. There are many other measures and ways to achieve our goal. For Germany, the Climate Action Plan sets the framework with its climate protection targets.